For the first time in her history, Hokulea crossed the Tasman Sea to Australia, successfully navigating across these unfamiliar waters. Hokulea sailed into the iconic Sydney Harbour and was welcomed to the country by the traditional owners of these lands. Crew members were eager to learn more about these people, but their presence is almost invisible in this busy metropolis except for Redfern, the only Aboriginal community in urban Sydney. This community has gone from a place of, um, there was a sense of hopelessness for a long time. And that comes from grief, loss, from disconnection and dispossession. The only thing that um, can beat it is hope. Hope built with routine and built with strong Aboriginal people pushing each other to understand their people and make everyone feel proud of who they are. Just like our navigators on the Va'a, Shane is a navigator in his community and the tribal warrior program that he runs has been a bright spot of hope. This program here that we put together came from a bunch of um, young boys in our community um, who are getting in trouble with robberies a lot. And we had a really bad relationship with the police. So what we did is put them in a routine program. The mentors would pick them up, take them and train with the police. After the first few weeks, it, the dynamics changed. We started to become friends. In fact, in the first few months, 82% drop in robberies in this area. The simple fact is these kids started to tell other people about the big things, the strong things about our people. They saw their own worth and they started to get involved to learn, back to learning. Crew members were invited to join the Tribal Warrior Kids for their 6 a.m. program. For crew member Kavika Curvello, the experience with this urban indigenous community offered insight for his own work with youth in his rural island community of Molokai. Being that I work with uh, children, at-risk kids, that we'll be sharing of what we do back home. Uh, what we ended up doing was having a two-hour hardcore workout. That's a workout. The boys did really well. The boys did really well. They pushed themselves really hard and they were really good. Uh, they, they picked it up really quick. They came here to watch and they couldn't help themselves. They had to get involved. You teach me, Chan. Am I doing it right? Yeah. What I saw today from Shane, he looked at his community. And he wanted to be a part of the solution. He wanted to make a change. Uh, it confirmed that it's important as a leader have that relationship, to build that relationship uh, with a child, to have that trust. And in order to do that, it, it takes uh, uh, a special someone to have that engage with the children, to have them come out and give you their energy. Uh, that's what I took, that uh, he formed that relationship, that base, that foundation. Um, and after meeting him, I'm energized to take that home, to have that energy, to be uh, that engaged with the kids. Um, so it definitely inspired me. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll ease up, bro. No, keep, keep going hard. Keep going hard. I like your attitude, bro. In return, the crew members inspired the youth with their voyage around the world and its message of Malama Honua. Of our land, we just want to thank you guys for, for having us here, uh, being able to participate with you guys. And we're on a... Uh, Round the world journey on our double haul canoe. The name of our journey is Malama Honua, which is on this shirt here. It means to care for our earth. We tell all the kids about thousands of years of strength. And then we talk about other nations. We talk about indigenous people all over the world. We saw the light come on here today with these children. And when they knew that it was another indigenous nation doing this circumnavigation, which through navigation, through nature, through currents and winds, they saw that connection. That connection is, is so important to us. Uh, we sail across the oceans to islands we cannot see beyond the horizon the way our ancestors have done. Um, it was, we were told we couldn't do it, 
We were told that our culture and language didn't have a place in this world. And a bunch of guys said, it does, and we're gonna do it. And they built this canoe. Um, this canoe represents a rebirth of us as a people, of our culture, of our language, um, and, and all that we hold um, sacred to us. When we go to these places on Hokulea, uh, it is not just the literal things of Malama uh, that it's not just something that we put on a t-shirt. It is something that is action. It is something that we live. It is something that when we come off the va'a that we engage in and that, that we truly, truly uh, live and be active in our community. And that in itself is Malama and what each of us uh, can carry off the va'a and into our communities to put it into action.